Welcome to the Maths Made Easy tutorial on inequalities on the number line. So this is the second video on the topic. If you've not watched the first one yet, uh, then I recommend you watch that first because we go through all the different skills in that video. Here we're just going to look at a couple of example questions. So in this first example we have to show the inequality x is between minus 1 and 10 on a number line. Uh, and you'll notice that the inequalities are strict here, so x does not include the values of minus 1 and 10. So we use an open circle to represent a strict inequality and we put open circles above minus 1 and 10. I'm just going to redraw that first one because it's a little bit off centre. Uh, so we have two open circles and we connect them with a straight line. So that's simple enough. If we move on to the next example, we have two inequalities this time. So we have to display the inequalities x is less than or equal to 0 and x is greater than or equal to 3 on this number line here. So uh, x is less than or equal to 0, first of all. Now these are both uh, inclusive inequalities, so they're going to be filled in circles and uh, because this is less than or equal to we'll have an arrow pointing left so x can take any value less than or equal to zero here and then for the other one we'll use a blue uh, color for this one x is greater than or equal to three again uh, we fill in the circle that we'll put above three and draw an arrow going to the right uh, so these are the two inequalities we can label them as well uh, so x is less than or equal to zero and x is greater than or equal to, oops, that should be a three, not a zero, a three there. So these are our two inequalities. If you're feeling strong on this topic and you want to get some practice in, you can do so with our online exam. This is available through our revision platform. If you take the test, you'll find loads of different questions to have a go at. There's a variety of different question types and you'll get instant feedback on each and every one of them. So this is a really good way of keeping track of your progress and finding out how you can improve in time for your actual exam. So if you're interested, you can click the link below and it'll take you straight over there.